Hello reformers and welcome back to Gekakusho 3.1. Now when we left off, we had just defended Hirosaki against, well, a pretty large force of Megami clan vassals. Now we are here attacking Lord Akechi. Now I thought I'd start here mainly because I'd like to show sort of all of the the vassals falling before us. Now, as you can see, he only has one unit, and that is him. So this is going to be pretty amusing. I think the reason why he is actually alone is because... He just stood there? I, I don't actually know what happened, but he literally just stood there. Mei Ling is an absolute beast, as you can see. Oh, yeah. One-on-one, -on -one, Mei Ling, triumphant, very nice, very good, okay. Ah, oh, he did manage to escape. That's unfortunate. Isn't that unfortunate? Okay, well, yeah. The main thing that I really wanted from him was his prisoners, of course, because, well, what can you do? I mean, these are f basically free. They're free units. It's really nice. Okay, so, we are now... Yeah, as you can see here, the villages were being uh, raided slightly because I obviously did not have any HP to defend. So, that's kind of a shame, isn't it? Yeah, that is kind of a shame. So, anyway, we're going to put Great Lord Nanbu in here and our prisoners, because you never know, we might be able to take some other people prisoner, which would be nice. Now, I am not going to do that, thank you very much. But, yeah, this has been looted, unfortunately, but uh, I suppose the castles and things are still giving us money, so I suppose that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go to Katsuyama Castle. And let's just see if we can hunt down any Mogami clan vassals. I'm pretty sure they're going to be heading on over there, I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been tracking their movements at all. Ah, oh, there we go. The recruiter has brought 50 recruits to Hirosaki. That's really, really nice. That's going to be very helpful indeed. All right, so if I can just head back here. There doesn't seem to be anyone around here, amazingly enough. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. Okay, well, as you can see, this is our... Uh, this is our garrison. It's been depleted rather significantly, hasn't it? Yeah, we have a huge amount of gunners. So I think I'm probably going to take 50 of those, or I'm uh, not 50. I'm going to take 20 of those. Thank you very much. And I think I'm going to take Lord Ishikawa out of here because it would make sense to sort of transfer, you know, what's kind of going on to Hirosaki, you know, have most of the prisoners in the same area so that they can hopefully defend there. Anyway, this is an administrator. Ah, okay, so yeah, I'm not obviously going to need him right now. But what I would like to do is I would like to give Morioka to Lady Nagako. There we go. That is very nice indeed. And let's see here. Okay, so Army Inspector, should I send out some more? Yeah, I think I probably will. Let's go and get some more Date Clan people. There we go. That sounds good to me. And should I swap out some of my people right now? No, I don't really I don't really see a necessity to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to swing round very, very quickly. And we're going to see if the Mogami clan is anywhere in sight. Because they're very annoying. No, I'm going to be rejecting that. If you're not willing to offer me more than 2,000, then I'm not going to let those guys go. I mean, it probably is a better idea to just let them go. Because what's my honor at now? My honor is at 5. Well, that's, I guess that's okay. I mean, it's not really good, is it? No, it's not very good at all. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could go all the way up here and take these two... Oh, well, not take these two villages, but go to the two villages and recruit a bunch of people, you know, the, the neutral units and things like that. I think that would actually be a really good idea for me to do that, but as it stands, I don't think I can do that right now. I think I'm probably just going to have to focus on what I'm doing here. Oh, Lord Kita, hello. You are going to go down. You are going to go down. I'm going to attack you right now because I really do not want you running around even more, you know, causing as much damage as possible. It's really annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, should I make peace with them, actually? Should I make peace with them? Can I make peace with them? No. Yeah, I thought there might be the system in place where you can, you know, pay a certain amount of money and then you can get them to make peace with you, even if it's with a vassal or whatever. But no, it seems like that's not going to be the case because obviously we have Great Lord Nanbu in our prisoner's hold. So yeah, it's unlikely that he's going to be making peace anytime soon. But that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Oh, this is a very small battlefield, isn't it? Very small indeed. Okay, so we have not much of anything. So I guess I'm just going to charge everyone in apart from the archers and they can just hold position back here. But yeah, this might actually work out to uh, yeah, kind of shoot us in the foot. I don't know. 
we're, we're, we might we might get a little bit destroyed here. I don't know. I mean, it really depends. Really, really depends. If I can stay alive, that would be kind of nice. I mean, maybe I should just get out my bow and shoot a little bit, but I find that with my bow, it's kind of... Uh, I mean, it, yeah, okay, you know, it's pretty effective in, you know, sieges and things like that, but when I'm actually in a field battle, I personally feel like, look at that, just running around and slashing through all of their ranks is usually much, much more efficient. Nope, you can't shoot me, thank you very much, how dare you. That was very, that was very mean of him, wasn't it? He was just like, oh yes, I'm just going to draw my bow and shoot you right in front of me. Yeah, that's, that's great, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, we do actually have a banner carrier, hilariously enough. We actually do have a banner carrier. Sado returnees are doing a really good job as well. I'm actually kind of surprised about that, because obviously they're not really good, but they're, they're okay, they're decent. You know, as we've spoken about before. And can I actually eliminate this guy? Can I? Maybe. Maybe not. Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, so I think we're, we've actually got this in the bag. I think we will have this in the bag. I'm just going to move our archers a little bit more, just so that they're in range of what we're doing. Because we don't really want them to... Oh no! Ah uh, yes, that was that was painful. That was very, very painful. I actually don't want to die. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up my bow. And... Oh, this is not good, no. This is not good. No, no, this is not good at all. Okay, so I'm just going to stay here. Oh my, this is their respawn area. That is not good. That is not good at all, actually. Okay, so I'm just going to stand here, kind of. And... Oh no. No. Let's just... Continue moving. Oh, I actually thought I died. Literally. I actually thought I died from that 8 and then plus 5 damage there, but no. In actual fact, I was able to survive. That is hilarious, isn't it? It's just like, oh, I'm, I, am, I, am I dead? Oh, no. I'm actually not dead. Uh, well, what can I do? What can I do here? I actually don't know. Should I retreat and come back in, or should I just let them finish up the battle? I think I'll probably just let them finish up the battle. I mean, they're... You know, they're doing a pretty reasonable job and everything, so I suppose we should just allow them to have their glory. You know, to allow Mei Ling and Gonosuke to lead our companions to victory. So, yeah, hopefully we're going to see some really, really nice kills here. Oh, Teruyo. Teruyo is doing a pretty decent job as well. Where is she, by the way? Is she actually tagged as an archer? I hope she's tagged as an archer, because if she's not, then that's a huge failing on my part. Is this her? Yeah, this is her. Okay, so she's actually on a mount. I hope she can use that bow on the mount. That would be... I think she can, because obviously she wouldn't have it in her hands then, but... Yes. I really wish they'd actually charge in. I don't know why they're not charging in, because... Technically, the automatic thing that happens when I die is that everyone charges. So I was hoping that they would do that. Seems not, though. Eleven! Eleven were, were lost, but most of those were Sado returnees, so I suppose that's fine. Because once we have kind of stabilized our area here, which obviously I haven't really had time to do because we're constantly being attacked from all over the place, then I'll be able to go down to Sado and actually get a couple more of those guys. We could maybe wait for about two weeks, get about 40, 50 of them, and then we can come back renewed, strength, stronger, you know, all that, all that sort of thing. I really should not be charging in here right now. I'm going to die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm probably going to die. Oh, no. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm just going to allow all my people to charge in, by the way. I did not forget to command them. I just, you know, think it's a better idea just to let them... Really? Come on, Bruce. Come on. You are... Oh, I see. They uh, Yes, the automatic charge does not actually charge in archers. I'm not entirely sure why that, why that doesn't happen, but okay. I don't really mind so much. Mei Ling and Gonosuke doing an amazing job as per usual. Look at that. They're, they, they're at two kills apiece, as far as I'm aware. Let's see who wins. Let us see who wins. Let's make it a bit of a competition here. Mei Ling is up by one. She is three kills to two. Come on, Gonosuke. Ah, no, no, she's four kills to two now. And Mei Ling has been eliminated. So, Gonosuke, you have the opportunity to get two more kills. Let's see whether he is able to do it. Is he going to be able to do it? It seems like he's not going to be able to do it. So, yes, Mei Ling wins this round, Gonosuke. Four to two. Unless he's able to get a couple of kills at the very end here, but it's unlikely... I think it is unlikely. Is that him right there? That, I think that might be him. I, I No, I don't think so somehow. No, I think that's a little bit too uniform. He's got much too uniform armor for, you know, Gonosuke, because he's most likely got some terrible random gear that I've given him from the automatic upgrade system. So, yeah, there is that. Hopefully we're going to get some good loot from this as well. That's partially the reason why I wanted to do this. 
because maybe we'll be able to get some upgrades for our people. And he did manage to escape. Ah, oh, that is disappointing. That is really, really disappointing. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so as we can see here, we have some armor, which is obviously what we're going to be taking to sell, no doubt. Let's let our people take... Oh, they, they obviously did take something. I'm not entirely sure what they took, but we're going to take those things. There we go. Um, that seems good. That seems good to me. All right. So here we go. We have a bunch of people that have leveled up. I think we probably want to continue getting some ninjas, don't we? Yes, I think that would be pretty good. I'm starting to get Hatamoto archers instead of Umayumis now, mainly because we're mostly doing sieges, and I think that their extra power draw could help quite a bit. Anyway, Gonosuke has advanced. So what are we going to do? Let's go for some strength. Oh yeah, let's make him a little bit, or I say a little bit, but let's make him much more powerful. Yes, there you go. So he's using a katana and a kanamuchi. So that is, that's very nice. I'm actually going to give him this wakazashi so he has a bit of a shield because obviously with the one-handed it would make sense for him to have that. So don't know why I didn't give that to him before, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so Mei Ling can also advance in level. She is Wow, she is going to be unstoppable. She literally is going to be unstoppable. So let's just give her a little bit more in power throw and agility, strength, etc. And then we can level up. Wow, there's so many of them, isn't there? Okay, so I guess some more agility here for Teruyo. Let's give her some iron flesh so that she can sustain a couple more hits. Well, maybe one more hit. I don't know. And Momo, Momo's doing okay actually at the moment, as you can see. So let's go for some power draw for her, because she apparently has a bow. She apparently has a bow, so let's have a look. Yeah, she has a practice Yumi. She does not have any other weapons, though. I do know, by the way, that my companions do not have weapons. I'm mostly waiting until they're able to get some just naturally, because I do actually prefer to, you know, kind of get that going with the game. I like, I like the game to kind of be a little bit organic, and that sounds really pretentious. I know, I know it sounds pretentious, but the fact is, is that I just like them to gain, you know, gain items as we go. Because, I mean, look, th th this guy, you know, has uh, some pretty decent gear already. I didn't know whether it was a girl or not. No, it is. It is a girl. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, point is, that's the reason. And also because I am not really swimming in money, so I don't really want to go and, you know, purchase some items from the nearby town because no doubt they're going to be quite expensive or they're just going to be kind of meh you know i mean i can i can go and look if you want but like i don't really see the necessity to do that because most of our units are not particularly good at fighting and yeah they can level up by fighting a little bit quicker obviously and that might make some sense so maybe we'll do it i don't know let's just take a look and see what's actually going on here oh hello there you're very weak aren't you yes kind of Kind of. They do actually have Great Lord Mogami there once again. I'm um, very, very worried about that. Oh, hello. You seem to want to attack me. I'm not very pleased about that. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to try and lure him away. I'm very low in HP, as you can no doubt tell, so this is a bit worrying. Can I, can I defeat him? Can I defeat him with my current, current composition? Let's actually just take a look here. Let's just stop and take stock over what kind of units we have here. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna take this opportunity to move past, and then we're gonna go in here. There you go. Oh, nice. We actually snuck in there. Very, very sneaky. Oh, and now I'm being attacked. How fantastic. Okay, so these guys have throwing weapons, so I suppose... Am I being attacked from behind as well? No, I'm not. Alright, so let's just get out my weapon and get ready. There we go. <laughs> I timed that pretty well, didn't I? Yeah, tame that, tame that pretty well. Okay, so. Oh, oh no, there's another one. I didn't know. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with him. There we go. Yes, bandits. They do not stand a chance, do they? Don't really stand a chance. Okay, so let's see what I can do about this guy. He's dead. All right. Is is anyone else there? Anyone else? Anyone else want a piece of Bruce? No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, so let's go into the marketplace. It's been a while since we've actually been into any kind of marketplace, so we're just going to sell the armor because it seems like most of us have pretty decent armor. So as you can see here, what do we have? I mean, I don't really want to buy pole arms for them because I'd rather they use two-handed. So there's a two-handed for a thousand. Yeah. And that's a Tetsubo. That's the baseball bat that I was talking about in the previous episode. That's pretty nice. And yeah, Katana 1200. So 
these these items are really not cheap enough for me to be like, yes, I'm going to do this. So I hope you can understand. Ah, uh, practice Nodachi. I mean, that's 500. I don't know why I'd buy a practice Nodachi when I can get a better weapon from a battle. You know what I mean? So I think if I am actually swimming in money, which I probably am going to be pretty soon, hopefully, if we're able to, you know, keep all our fiefs intact, then if I'm able to do that, then obviously I will, you know, think about actually purchasing things. But these guys are so low level, I don't know whether it's really worth it for me to actually purchase items that are really expensive and maybe put us at a disadvantage for our weekly wages. So do bear in mind that I am thinking about all this stuff. It's just the fact that I'm not doing it right now because it's not really a priority. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, let's level up our strength once again and we're going to go. Shall we go for 80 HP? I don't know whether it makes any difference because I just die anyway. Let's give some more power strike. I think power strike would be nice. Let's do that. And I guess we'll just wait here for some time and see what happens. They're probably going they're obviously going to head in, aren't they? They are obviously going to head in, so that's going to be pretty sad. But what can you do, I suppose? We're just going to allow them to do so and we'll we'll defend just as normal. I mean, look at this. We actually outnumber them this time, which is hilarious. I think they're probably going to die instantly. I don't really think there's any qualms about it. I mean, we have a minus one battle advantage. Why do we have a minus one battle advantage? We outnumber them. That's a bit, that's a bit weird. Uh, it must be, well, I don't know whether they take into account tactics. I mean, maybe our tactics are just not good enough. That could be it. I mean, I know my strategy sometimes is not really good enough, but no, oh well, never mind. Let's see what we can do here. Activating laser mode. Oh, yeah, I need to be a little bit careful here. Okay. Oh, yeah, need to be a little bit careful. Need to be a bit careful. There we go. Just shooting through the banner. Okay, there we go. Just doing as much damage as I can. It doesn't really matter if I get kills either, in my opinion, because, you know, if an enemy is weakened, then most likely one of our other units will be able to eliminate them. And I don't really need to sort of stress about it. Servants, no! Why, why did I not level these guys up? Oh, dear. Well, that's not very good. Alright, so, yes, these guys are going to come in here now, and we're going to try and take them out. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going too badly so far. Ooh, that guy's really quite... Oh, Great Lord Mogami! Yep, there we go. I was about to say, he's really quite armoured, isn't he? He's quite well armoured, so... Did need to take him out first, I think. Yeah, anyway, it seems like my bow is quite the quick-fire, you know, one-hit kill machine at the moment, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to try and eliminate these guys as well. And yeah, look at that. That was their first wave. If that was their first wave and all the waves are going to be like this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. They're actually doing a pretty reasonable amount of damage to our front line here. Not very happy about that. I do know that there is a strategy where you can go all the way back to the keep with all of your units. And then you can just kind of wait there. And then you can be right next to, you know, your own reinforcement zone. And that's actually a very valid strategy. I think that, that could work quite well for us. However, the main problem with that is that then you don't get the the sort of cool stages of the siege. And I personally feel like that is one of the better points about Gekakujo. So, I, I, I don't know. I mean, if you want to be more effective and probably more efficient, then I think that's probably the way to go. But when have I ever been about efficiency? You know me, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Can I take out some more of these guys? Yeah, I think I probably can. I mean... You know, we are Bruce Bertold, after all. Okay, come on, die now, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up some arrows here. There we go, take some of these. Need to make sure that I don't take anything that is going to swap out my bow. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's just take these guys out. I'm just literally not even going for headshots right now, because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to shoot one of my own units. And, you know, it's happened before. It's happened before, so I probably don't want to, you know, be too fancy with my aim at the moment. Oh, he really killed one of... Oh, that's terrible. He really killed... Did he kill Gonosuke right there? Was Gonosuke standing next to me? I don't know. I don't know. But we have eliminated 142 of them so far, and they have not... Oh my, they have not really done much to us, have they? No, they haven't. We're using our polearm quite nicely at the moment. We actually seem to be doing some pretty decent damage. Yeah, look at that. Take out the banner carrier. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, this is this is worrying. Yeah, it seems like they're actually starting to push us back a little bit. Not particularly happy about that. But, well, 
I mean, it just, that's just how you have to do it, really. It's just how you have to do it. I find it very, very amusing how they're still able to deal so much damage, though, because even if you're not riding on a horse, they're still able to do so much. But again, as I've as I've mentioned, the banner carriers are extremely fun to watch, I think, because they are just so powerful, but they're, they're it's just so slow that it's it's quite amusing and entertaining to watch, so I quite like that. Okay, I'm just going to try and take these guys out, use my range, use my reach of my weapon to, you know, fully let's do, yeah, annihilate them. Yes, let us annihilate them. There we go. Very nice. Okay, can, 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 I, can I actually eliminate all of these before they turn on me? Before they actually stop focusing on whoever it is that's in the center here? Oh, this guy's an absolute beast. Who's that? An Asakura Umayumi is just covered in the enemy's blood right now. That is insane. Wow. Okay, it's fi it, it finally died. Yeah, he finally died. That's a bit of a shame, but... Hello, you probably need to run. Do you not want to run? Apparently not. I actually really like the look of the Yojimbos, because they have these really, really cool sort of aesthetic to them. And I like that. Okay, well, seems like I'm going to have to... Oh, am I going to have to charge at these guys? Yep, seems like it. Okay, take out those samurai archers. Yep, probably going to need to... Slice and dice. There we go. Slice and dice. Okay, it seems like we may ha yep, yep, we have achieved victory. Oh yes, very nice. Oh no. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that was close. That was very, very close. I was really, really worried about being killed at the very end. I am probably going to die though. Do bear that in mind. I am probably going to die. It's just a matter of time. Is it? Is it a matter of time? Can I kill these? There we go. And there we go. Okay, thank you. So, who else is alive? Only four enemies remain, and they seem to be gunners. They seem to be gunners and all kinds of things. So, I'm going to just head down here and see what I can... Oh, yeah, nice. Hatamoto Archer doing his very best right there. And we have another person out there. A gunner? Okay, well, you're going to get killed. Thank you very much. And is there anyone else? Aha! You're going to get headshot. Yep. <laughs> ah, very nice. Look at that. Our proficiency is actually going up really, really nicely as well. So there you go. We actually survived a defense against the Mogami clan and Great Lord Mogami himself. I'm going to be taking this guy prisoner. Thank you very much. And this one as well. I think taking them prisoner is probably uh, maybe not the best idea because we do very much want them to join us eventually. So it would be kind of nice if they do that. Anyway, let's perform the upgrading. Seems like we did swap out a couple of pieces of armor right there. So that's quite nice. And, yeah, I think that's good. All right, so, there you go. I think that's a really, really nice defense right there. And we have sort of sustained ourselves quite well. I think we might actually be able to go to Kubota and maybe take that. Because as far as I'm aware, it was taken quite a while ago. And I think it had about 70 units in there the last time that I was selling there. Before they declared war, of course. So, maybe it's going to work out for us in the end. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.